This is a true Dame Dame moment for the Yakuza franchise and also Sega itself. This is some unfortunate news that I have for fellow Yakuza fans and also for people who love Sega. Well, before I even give out the news, please subscribe to my channel. I will highly appreciate it. So let me go straight to the point. So, according to GameMaps.com, Bloomberg, NetEast Games, in final negotiations to poach Toshiro Nagoshi from Sega, Tencent reportedly also on the brink of Japanese studio acquisition. So, you already know, this guy Nagoshi, Toshihiro Nagoshi, has been around for the Yakuza franchise forever. He's also been dominant in the Sega franchises like Super Monkey Ball, Yakuza, Virtual Fighter. He's been there from the beginning as far as Sega's history. He's been there since like 1989. So this guy, is he's so dedicated to Sega and he made Yakuza happen. Because if it wasn't for him, he brought up the Yakuza idea to Sega. And Sega was not willing to cooperate with him. But he was like, this is going to make some money. And they went out with his ideas. And now we got Yakuza of what it is today. With that being said, let me go read this article for you guys. NetEase Games is in final negotiations to poach Yakuza and Super Monkey Ball creator Toshihiro Nagoshi from Sega. According to Bloomberg Report, there's report sites people familiar with the matter who sold that Nagoshi is expected to set up his own team to create new games, but has yet to sign a final contract to have his duties finalized. Chinese companies such as NetEase Games have recently been making more headway in Japan. Back in June 2020, NetEase Games established the Shibuya-based Oka Studios led by Bandai Namco veteran Tetsuya Akasuka, and Tencent has invested in both Marvelous and Platinum games. Tencent is also reportedly on the brink of acquiring another Japanese studio. Neither NetEase Games or Tencent responded to the request for comment. Listen, I don't understand why are these big producers from these companies going on to these like like these mobile franchise companies. You know, I know that mobile games make so much money in Japan and it also makes so much money in America sometimes, but like to dedicate yourself to making a mobile game, like seriously, like Dude, like you just made like one of the biggest games of the century, Yakuza. Yakuza is one of the biggest games of the century. Like, it's a big ass franchise in Japan. It's made numbers in Japan. It's made a, it's made a remark. It's made a movie. It's made merchandise. It's made toys, this and that in Japan. Like, seriously, you haven't even made a Yakuza anime, which I would love to see. Yeah, it's it hasn't happened yet, but. With what Yakuza is going through right now, Yakuza is, is like super fucking popular right now. And Nagoshi on the brink of leaving, that's so crazy to me. He's trying to leave when Yakuza is at the top. I think what's going on is that Tashihiro Nagoshi, like I feel like he accomplished what he wanted to do. He accomplished what he wanted to do as far as Yakuza franchise and as far as Sega itself. He basically established everything. Like, he's done a lot for Sega. He made Ryu Gakotoku Studios. He made Yakuza popular in the West. Like, seriously, he probably never knew that was going to happen because Yakuza was always a Japanese appeal type franchise. You know, it was only made for the Japanese market. But when it converted onto the US, Yakuza 1 and 2 weren't so popular. Also, for Yakuza 3 and 4. And so Yakuza 0 came out, that's when Yakuza started, like, bursting out in the US, you know, market. Especially when it came on the Xbox Game Pass, like it started bursting out. People started making memes about it. Like I posted in my other videos, you know, and this this is so unfortunate to me because, you know, Nagoshi has a lot of like, he has a lot of history with Sega. And what's gonna happen with the Yakuza franchise? You know, what's gonna happen with the Yakuza franchise? So to answer that question, me personally, I feel like this is not the end for the Yakuza franchise. This is definitely not the end for the Yakuza franchise. If he does go to NetEase Games, I believe that other publishers and other developers and other writers and everything, they're going to start producing Yakuza franchise now. I mean, it kind of sucks because he is basically the Hideo Kojima of Sega. You know, he is the Hideo Kojima of Sega. And for him to leave the company, it's going to be hard for Sega to like extinguish another franchise like Yakuza. What are they going to do with the future franchises with Yakuza? What are they going to do with Yakuza? What are they going to do with Yakuza? What's next for Yakuza? What are they going to do for Yakuza? Because I know for sure that, you know, Lost Judgment is coming now, which is basically the last franchise in the Judgment series. 
which you know obviously I talked about it before is so that's that and I feel like Nagoshi has already accomplished his goals like I said but I do not think this is the end for Yakuza I think somebody else is gonna take in charge of his position with as far as Yakuza because if you look at Yakuza Yakuza has changed a lot Yakuza is be is now a JRPG basically it's literally a JRPG Kiryu Kazuma, Majima, and all these characters was his creation. I feel like his creativity, it can't be there anymore. It's it's probably not there anymore because he built he built this franchise from the ground up with Kiryu being in mind. And now that Kiryu is gone, his creation is gone. I mean you do have the new character, but you know, I, I don't know, I don't feel like he makes so much of an impact as far as Kiryu. Even though there's only one game in the Like a Dragon franchise, but still, I just feel like Kiryu is... You see Kiryu in Nagoshi himself. With Like a Dragon going the way that it's going, I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know, but I do know for a fact that Yakuza is definitely going to continue. This is not the end for Yakuza, but Sega's going to have to do something about this. If they lose Nagoshi, they really going to have to get their head out of their asses and really produce and make a great Yakuza game. Because now the franchise is under your hands. Yeah, let's see what happens. Because now, you know, Yakuza Like a Dragon. You got Ryosuke Hori as the director. You got Hiroyuki Sakamoto and Daisuke Sato as the producers. Daisuke Sato is also big in Sega. But at the same time, I mean, like like I said, Yakuza is going in a new direction. There's no more beat-em-ups. Like, it's not a beat-em-up game anymore. It's not, it's not a brawler game anymore. So, that's that. It is now a JRPG. What's gonna happen with, with it? Like, what's gonna happen with it? And like I said, it's gonna continue. Do not worry about Yakuza dying. Do not worry about the Yakuza franchise be dead. Because it's not gonna die. It, it's, it's not gonna die. It's gonna keep continuing. We're gonna get more games in store, so do not worry about that. There's probably gonna be sequels to Judgment, or no, probably not. I mean, who knows? Maybe if they make a negotiation with the actor or whatever in the future. If not, they might make a new IP. Sega is... They know what they're doing. They're, they're, if they lose this man, they know what they're doing. Like, I have confidence in Sega. Is Nagoshi going to take the Yakuza franchise with him? No, because Sega owns Yakuza. Sega owns the Yakuza franchise. It was built from the ground up from Sega. Sega owns Yakuza. You know, Yakuza was made from Sega. It's made with Sega. Yakuza is a Sega franchise. So Nagoshi can't go ahead and take his franchise with him. So as far as Yakuza, Yakuza staying with Sega. It's not going anywhere. And for the future of Yakuza, it'll be in bright hands. Trust me. We got a lot of directors. We got a lot of producers. Very talented people in Sega. And I feel like it's still going to continue. You know, even without Nagoshi. Like, I feel like it's still going to continue. So you guys do not need to worry. But please let me know what you think. Are you scared? Are you afraid about Nagoshi leaving Sega? Are you afraid about the Yakuza franchise in the future? Please let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe to my channel, like my videos, I will highly appreciate it. My name is Sam Matic and I'll see you guys in the next video.